So you are founder and managing director at We Public Health. I would love to know when did the thought of We Public Health come up and like what was that process in getting it started? Yeah, well, it's still it's still it's still coming up uh, three and a half years in uh, into it. After 14 years, I reached a point where I, I started to feel some sort of like cognitive disconnect between what I was seeing and feeling and hearing in our our work. And so, you know, especially what I mean by that is like we were talking about some real issues that we couldn't ignore any longer. We can no longer ignore that somebody's health outcomes are going to be worse if they are black or brown than if they're white. So that, so we're, we, we say, okay, so we're going to like focus on equity, but we're not exactly going to say what we mean by that and who, who's doing that and how's doing that and what does that actually look like. Um, we're talking about issues that are really um, impact people's lives in profound ways. And so, okay, we're talking about addiction and alcoholism and mental health. And we sit at a table and nobody says, is there anybody at the table that has this life experience? Is, you know, what can we learn from you? How can we figure out how the people here are actually part of the community that's experiencing some of these issues. And so it felt just like academic and disconnected in a way that was not working for me. Uh, and so I actually, um, when I left, um, it was June of 2020. So the COVID um, 19 pandemic had um, just started. Uh, George Floyd had recently been murdered, um, and 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 there I was without a job. <laughs> uh, and so I I said uh, publicly I'm taking a personal sabbatical, but privately what that meant was I need I need a minute and I need to figure out what what am I going to do with myself here. And the truth was, I already knew what I wanted to do, and I just hadn't had the courage yet to say that out loud. And and that is to um, try to create a collective of women consultants in particular who are um, working in public health. And the idea, you know, I said earlier, like, no idea is really mine. And this is true, too. Um, you know, I, my, my job had afforded me a lot of contacts around the country. So I just knew a lot of people and had the opportunity to work with a lot of people. So I started talking to people and saying, Hey, why did you become a consultant? And, um, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? What advice would you give me? And I did kind of an inadvertent qualitative study where I started to hear themes that were coming up. And so some of those themes were of people that were working independently. They had chosen um, that path because they felt like they'd reached kind of, you know, an end of the road in their jobs, um, whether that was a glass ceiling, whether that was, you know, experiencing racism or other types of depression, um, oppression, and maybe depression because of that. Um, and just not feeling a sense of being able to like, move forward and have their voice heard and valued at a table. Um, others talked about uh, really wanting to be able to kind of do things on their own terms and um, have some freedoms to uh, set their own schedule and be able to meet other obligations like caring for children or, or parents or, or other family members. Um, and And so the people that were doing this kind of consulting independent work, um, liked a lot about it, but really missed being part of a team and feeling like collectively um, they were able to make a big impact. And at this time, I think a lot of people were feeling like, how can I actually do something that's going to be meaningful and impactful? 
Um, and so I um, was able to convene about 10 women um, that I knew that were doing this to go through kind of a visioning process to say, um, you know, what is what what is this we public health thing and what can it be and who do we want to be and, and how do we want to be? So we created our organizational values. We created, I guess, the culture that we wanted to have, the how we want to work with each other and with other people, the type of work we want to do and how we want to go about that. Um, and so it was, you know, sort of visioning what this collective of consultants could be. And then we did it. <laughs> well, yes, you all, you all have been doing it. That is for sure. And I've definitely been seeing a lot of the we consultants pop up here and there on LinkedIn and everywhere.